Okay, we've zoomed in a little bit for our next video and we're in the process. We've already um, set up everything in number two, which is Q enter and we add, we're in the process of adding our first sort and we have first of all our four numbers because that's our grid design our four numbers under minus five and now we're about to enter our four numbers under minus four and I'm just literally going down and I have to click on this all right so three and then four and then five if I had a keypad I could go much faster all right and there's my four and I hit enter and then I go to my next one two one 24 and 12 and I'm just going along right typing these in I usually don't talk when I do this and I sometimes listen to really good music that keeps me in a really good rhythm of entering all of the numbers right in this case the person I had them either upload as you guys know either upload a scan of your sheet or enter them into a word file that I provided the good thing about entering them into the word file is that I don't have any problems reading anybody's writing so I might actually do it this way other times in the future so I'm I'm just chugging along it's important not to hit enter when you're Oops, when you've done these, right, you have to do all of them at a time. And like I mentioned in the previous video, it just so happens that this design is this is four statements under each of the 11 columns. And I'm almost done. I'm on this last one. And so I say 18. And it says, oh no, the following statements have been entered more than once. The following statements have not been entered. Number 38. So now I have to look at my table here, and hopefully it's me and not her. Right, so I'm going to look, right, <clears throat> so I have to find my number 12 statements. So there it is under 0. Oh, and there it is under minus 3. So this is always quite the quandary. <laughs> So I'm going to go, and I'm going to change numbers, the zero column, because if 38 belongs anywhere where it's not going to really affect anything, it's probably under the zero column. So it says give the value of the column you want to change. So I'm going to put zero, right? And there my numbers are. So I'm going to make this 26, 31, 33, and then the missing number, which was 38, right? And now it tells me the sum is zero, the mean is zero. That means that everything's okay. Do I want to change it anyway? No, I don't. And you can see there's the representation, right? I always think that the best thing probably about having people do an online sort is that they wouldn't use numbers twice. Um, there's certainly some other issues, but it would be very helpful actually. And in that regard so we'll get ready to do the next one so for right now we're going to say no right do you want to enter another sort we're going to say yes but that's going to be our next video